alcoholism is one of the causes of separation and divorce and infidelity, mm -hmm. whether money or whether sexual. I, I feel touched. I feel touched. Yes. I feel touched because <laughs> I come from a family where <laughs> drunkenness yes. is what caused the separation of my parents. Yes. I can actually say that's what, that was what made my parents my divorce. Yes. Drunkenness, drugs. So I think it's a factor. Mm. Surprisingly, yeah. what has really helped me is. Uh, uh, this thing that you asked, they said that now that you are a new believer, mm. the old is gone, mm. a new, a new, you are a new beginning, yeah. mm. now you leave, you are a new creation. Mm. So that thing, I think it helped me because... Yeah, Second Corinthians 5 verse Yeah, you are now a new creation. Yeah, that, that if anyone mm. is, is in Christ, Christ. Yeah. you are a new creation. So the if, old is gone yes. and the new has come. Yes. Wonderful. So these things mm -hmm. are actually true because my husband is coming from a very dysfunctional home. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one of his motivation to have this show. Mm. Yes. Because if were it not for God, mm. he couldn't have seen it the way... He's seeing it. Is there something he has to fight for the sake wow. of his generation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you find eh, the daddy never fought it, mm -hmm. the big brother never fought it, mm -hmm. the big sisters. He's number seven. Mm -hmm. He's the one. To, that's why you really need to. <laughs> instead of hating on our family, you need to be praying for us wow. and wishing as well, mm -hmm. because we have to break this generational something mm -hmm. for on behalf for the sake of our children. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we, we 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 are saying if you have God. And mm. I mean knowing God, not just going to church on Sunday, mm. there is a bit of hope. Mm. Yes. Yeah, there is a bit of hope and mm. maybe working with mentors mm. and uh, having the right information. So far we are 13 years and I think mm. so far those are the things that I can say mm. have really anchored us. Wow. Yeah. Well, I agree with you because most those are the things that we don't look at, the belief system of a person that you are marrying to or you are getting married to. So we are just, we just, we are just, we just look at the physical things and mm. you see, when you look at a person from a physical th point of view yes. you have not looked deep enough mm. because a person is not what you can see exactly. there is a lot of things that are behind them mm. the, the, the the family pattern mm -hmm. as I was explaining exactly. the, the fourth thing that you need to be very careful is is their history of marrying and remarrying yes. because that's where now infidelity comes in mm. because if there is a history of marrying and remarrying mm. it means when you come to my life you've got to know this spirit does not like marriage yeah. it wants you to keep on divorcing marrying divorcing, I'm marrying. also feeling touched yes. because wow. the best <laughs> You know, uh, yes. it has happened so much, having children out of wedlock, it uh, yes. has happened so much, mm. so it's something yeah. that I... But uh, can I tell you, yeah. you'll be amazed, mm -hmm. almost 95% of the people who are listening to us, mm. we are victim of the four, yeah. okay. the, the, four the four things that we have talked of, mm. witchcraft, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mental, mental illness, mm. you know, alcoholism, mm. and this, mm. this, this other one, marrying and remarrying. And I think what Beridi has said is so powerful mm. that we are the people now who, mm. who are going to take up the word of God yes. and break that pattern, mm. you know, and begin now a generation yeah. that believes in monogamy, yes. you know, that believes that infidelity is wrong. Mm. And we try to keep each other in marriage mm. without having another side chick and, 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 and side uh, Charlie. I don't know what to call him as side 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 man side child. A, a, a side man outside there we are the people who are supposed to say no because if we don't say no we are going to continue with this pattern and at the end of the day fortify what our parents what our parents did there's something that pastor monene keeps on telling me that the reason why we came from the families that we were born from mm -hmm. of course nobody chose why, why the family that you are born in mm -hmm. the reason why you are born in the family where you come from it is to correct the mistakes and the errors of your mother and your father mm -hmm. for me that is powerful Amen. Yes. That is what has yeah. changed change our family. You can, change, you can the change the narrative, you can change the pattern, you can change what you saw. And that's why God allowed you to see, God allowed you to hear all those things. Mm -hmm. And now he has, you are not even dead, you are still alive in, an, in, in a family. So that, and you now, now that you have a family, you have a wife, you have a husband, you have children, you can correct those errors and mistakes of your mother and your father. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, because we are not yielded to God's word. Mm -hmm. You remember we were talking about the permissive will mm -hmm. and the 
perfect will of God. Yeah. Since we are not in the perfect will of God, you find the permissive will still have a way of getting into us. Mm -hmm. And we find ourselves deviating and becoming, you know, uh, unfaithful to one another. Mm -hmm. And so that's very, very powerful. If my family, there was drunkardness, mm -hmm. it is my personal responsibility now gotcha. with Pastor Munene to make sure we will never drink. So mm -hmm. that now our children will grow knowing, I have never seen dad drink, mm -hmm. I have never seen mom drink. Mm -hmm. so if, my, if my father and my mother were really promiscuous, mm -hmm. anything that I saw, I'm supposed now that I have now my marriage with Pastor Munene, mm -hmm. we agree together that none of us mm -hmm. will be found having infidelity. boy or child guy. No, we must tell mm -hmm. ourselves, can we get satisfied sexually? And peradventure, if this spirit catches up with us, we can pray, we can fast, we can get a mentor, mm -hmm. someone who can be accountable, and tell them, please, can you pray for us? We are feeling one, two, three things. Mm -hmm. So these things that we, we grew up seeing mm -hmm. and hearing, the purpose of them were for us to come and correct it in our very marriage. Mm -hmm. So it is very sad. If you came from a, a marriage where your mother was very promiscuous, promiscuous means alikuwa nafanywa sana huko nje na babako alikuwa nafanyana sana and you you have now started the same thing. You are not correcting the mistake. You are actually now fortifying that. There's something I want to to, to you you clarify. Yes. Because infidelity mm. there's a reason why this man mm. is going out. Mm -hmm. And probably because you are a woman, you are a woman. Mm. Sometimes we tend to feel mm -hmm. as if there's something special with her that is not with you. Mm -hmm. And so we are chasing something all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are all women the same? I think there is something I would call the myth of a green pasture in a woman or in a man. It's a myth. Okay. And a myth is, not, is, a, is, a, myth is a hidden lie that is in your mind. Mm -hmm. yeah? But it is not the truth. Mm -hmm. You get that. Eh? Yeah. I would call it a mirage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the sense that women have, we, we have the same sameness mm -hmm. as women, mm -hmm. only that we have the uniqueness of a personality. Mm -hmm. The inner you now. Yeah, the inner, the, now the, the spirit man. Mm -hmm. But the, the physical body of a woman, mm -hmm. there is almost 100% sameness. Because she has a vagina, I have a vagina. She has breast, I have breast. She has buttocks, she has, she has buttocks. She has hair, I have hair. She has teeth, I have teeth. You're getting that. There's nothing this woman has. She has a clitoris, I have a clitoris. There's nothing. There's the sameness of men and the sameness of women. A man has the, the penis, has the testes, you know, prostate, glad. All this, this. Yeah. The, the anatomy and the physiology of a man and a woman are the same. You tend to think fat women are more sweeter than a slim woman. Mm. You know, all these things. Mm. But in the real sense, if you have sex with them, you will find, no, it's better my wife. It's just the same. Mm. Just the same because mm. the way you reach with your wife is the same way you reach. Yeah. Hey, hey. There is no other way. <laughs> there is no other way. What did you say? So you will not reach orgasm and stand. <laughs> you know? You will not reach orgasm and begin to run. Yeah. The same way una, una zuba anga hapo. Yeah, the same. Zuba. What differentiates, differentiates a woman and another woman, mm. and a man and another man, mm. is the knowledge yeah. that they have. Mm. The knowledge, especially the knowledge that is based on God's word, mm -hmm. not human philosophy. As I have always said, sugar is sugar. What changes is the sugar dish? It could be an issue of identity crisis that uh, this person is trying to find themselves in different people. Yeah, it can because be identity if, if, crisis. If, if you are settled, mm. if I'm self-aware, I know mm. myself, mm -hmm. there is a level of contentment I'll gain mm -hmm. and, and being grounded, groundedness. You mm. can only attain it by knowing yourself. Mm -hmm. You can know your partner. But if you don't know, you don't have time mm -hmm. for self-awareness oh, yes. or self-development, mm. you'll be like, curious. You're mm. trying to find that information in various things. Oh, for court guys are mm. like these, mm. uh, people mm. who are, gym people are like these, mm. but if you are grounded, mm -hmm. and I think that's where the word of God maybe can come in. In it fact, the word of God grounded. is what gives you the, the Holy highest self-esteem. The Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. The Holy Spirit has yeah. really helped me mm. to find my identity in Christ. Mm. Because if I find my identity in Christ, I will not go to look 
for it in another man because my husband is not validating mm. me. wonderful yeah and you see now you have a, you, you are your identity in christ is in god's word mm. so most of these people they don't read the word yeah. they don't hear the word they don't keep the word mm. so they are following other people it's copy and paste what you see another person Online. doing is what you're gonna mm. do at the end of the day you find yourself going away so infidelity is so common right now mm. but i want to say that anytime you do infidelity the first person you sin against is god and that's why if you look at the Bible, even the people who committed adultery, fornication, Akina David, it affected their generation. You remember David yeah. when he slept with Huria's wife? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you see now, mm -hmm. the first thing that entered in him was the spirit of murder. Mm -hmm. The minute you allow the spirit of infidelity, it can attract any other spirit. You find yourself killing. You get that. Eh? He had to kill Huria so that this truth is hidden. You get that. Then when he went before the Lord to repent in Psalms 51, he made a mistake. Verse 4. He said, only you, Lord, have I sinned. No. He had not only sinned against God and, and, and himself. Yeah. He had also sinned against his generation. Yeah. He never repented on behalf of his children. Yeah. So what happened? God forgave him. But immediately after that, we find, uh, you know, Amnon raping Tamar. We find Absalom sleeping with his wives. Uh -huh. So infidelity sin does not only finish up with you. And, and that's then, why we and, said and then Solomon and then Solomon and was there by having everybody. Can't 700. You, you mm -hmm. see now. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying that's why we, we said in the previous episode mm -hmm. that when you commit adultery, mm -hmm. that sin does not end up with you. Mm -hmm. That sin goes to your generations, mm. and we have seen that even mm. in the Word of God. Mm. So uh, infidelity may look sweet and fashionable, mm. and uh, you may look like you, you know, you have all, you, the, you power. Have all the power to mm. get any woman, any man you want, mm. because you have money, you have a name, and these things are brought by three things: mm. fame, glory, money. and money. At the end of the day, as we said, you die of sexually transmitted diseases, you die a very miserable man regretting, mm. and you die, you, you having left your partner very bitter and hurting, your children also, you, what legacy have you left to your children? That you are an adulterer, you destroyed other people's daughters and sons. So at the end of the day, your legacy is actually, is destroyed. Is destroyed. Yeah. So, I have a, I have a question. Mm, yes. I would really want to know, you mm. see, you and the... Uh, Dad, Pastor mm. Munene, you've mm. been very grounded. Yes. Actually, first of all, I must say, I really admire you. Wow. You are a woman I look up to. One thing, you are, you are schooled. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are advanced mentally, psychologically. Mm -hmm. You are a mm -hmm. medic. Mm -hmm. You are a person who is knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And also, you have the knowledge and that space for family. Mm -hmm. You've been very grounded and also been in that limelight. Yes. What is your secret? What has kept both of you? Because we are coming, mm -hmm. generation of ours and many others, some, at some point we always lose it when mm -hmm. fame begins to come in. Mm -hmm. what, what, what has kept both of you to be like from, this? From, from being in uh, yeah. uh, not what having you find infidelity. infidelity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not having sex outside marriage. <laughs> yes, I like Les you are kind of very plain way. Yes. yes. So, yeah. I would say that uh, number one, mm -hmm. um, you must understand that uh, Whatever you are doing is not about you, mm. but it's about your generation. Mm -hmm. mm. When you are a generational man mm. or woman, mm. you will be very careful mm. the choices and the actions that you are taking in life. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had opportunity mm. uh, to be out of this country mm. on various destinations. Mm. Good countries of the world mm. where many people desire to relocate mm. and stay oh yes but we have always gone and come back mm -hmm. the reason we came back is not because the daughter was doing bad mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right mm. or that we are not hand working mm -hmm. by the way if there is one woman i know is very hand working mm. this girl mm. wow. she is Totally hand working. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. Both in Kenya mm. and anywhere she will go. Yes, mm. very hard working. Oh, yes. But then we asked ourselves mm. why are we here? Mm. What is our purpose in life? Oh, yes. Are we in the permissive will of God in Germany mm. or in the perfect will of God? Mm -hmm. wow. Once you answer that, you get it. Mm. And so we, when we answer that correctly, wow. then we make the right decisions. decisions. And you. so, as a man, as a father, mm. I have got a direct responsibility mm. to raise my children mm. in a better way than I grew. Mm. 
mm-hmm. to be a better father, mm-hmm. role model, mm-hmm. and make sure that they will look at their father mm-hmm. and they will say, I never learned this from my dad. Mm-hmm. I know my dad was so straight, mm-hmm. my dad was not alcoholic, mm-hmm. my dad w- had only one wife who was my mother. Wow. Mm-hmm. So this is not our family. Mm-hmm. I mean, before they read the Bible, mm-hmm. I am the Bible to them. Yes. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Wow. That's powerful. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And indeed you have been. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Been. Mm-hmm. That is my greatest desire. Mm-hmm. Now, that does not mean that I've got all the money I want. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. I have got everything that I want. Mm-hmm. But you know what, my dear? Most of the time, mm. you will find that we are getting everything else that we want, okay? Mm. Property, finances, education, but you lose the most important. Mm-hmm. Wow. Your relationship with your wife mm. and with your children, mm. it is number one. It is very wow. true. No wonder the word of God says, mm. he who does not provide for his family. Mm. This provision is not just about money, mm-hmm. a road. Wow. <laughs> it is all around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it is something that you need to provide for your family, number one. Mm-hmm. It is your presence. Mm-hmm. That's very Give them millions. Give them property. Give them coffee plantation. Mm-hmm. Give them anything you want to give them. Mm-hmm. It will never substitute yes. the presence of mm-hmm. their father, or their mother. Wonderful. And that's why I talk to every man mm. who is listening there. Mm. I know you are working hard mm. to make sure that you leave mm. property for your children, mm. money for your children, but that is not the answer. Mm. Before you think about that, leave your presence. they need you. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Go home, Mary. Mm. Don't stay with your friend until midnight. Mm. You are needed back at home. Because the memory that the children will remember, Mm. it is not how much you left to them. Mm. It is the time you spent with them. Mm. It is the discussion you had with them. Mm. It is the advice you gave them. Mm. It is the holiday you went with them. Not with a side chick. Mm. No. It is the time you spent with them. Mm. From one place to the other. The moment you... You went to school yes. to visit them, yes. to attend the school meeting, Wonderful. instead of sending their mother. Mm. I can't remember not even one meeting. I sent my wife to go for a parent meeting. No. Wow. Yeah. You have a, and this means- With all this being busy, all I left mm. Kenya and out of Kenya, mm. I have always made sure I am available it is very when my mm. children need me. Wow. Why? Because those are the people mm. that God has entrusted you with. Wow. Hey, that was powerful. That's powerful. You know, this reminds me of what is trending right now about uh, is it Will Smith and his wife? Yeah. Okay. And I was actually thinking of wow. it. Wow. Will Smith is someone who you'll admire to be in his shoe. Very popular, financially stable, fame, best actor in the world with the all awards. Mm. Every birthday show, he was buying his wife a home, a new car. What and wife says, I have lacked him in my marriage all the life. Mm. Hajakua, that only. The word is equal, but she, she just said that the she, presence, the presence wow. was not there. Mm. Children are into drugs because the father was never there. Mm. They have daddy issues. Daddy Mommy issues. Issue. So I think that is, that is a point that and I'm then taking home. To add to that, mm. Most mm. people, most youths mm. are into drugs, all this masturbation and uh, pornography mm. because of daddy issues, yeah. mommy issues. Children are left on their own, they never mm. see daddy. their parents. Mm. So mm. I think uh, just like uh, our dad is inspiring us mm. here, when we reach that point when we have to make a decision either between money mm. and family, family presence comes first. And you know what? eh? Mm. I tell people that you can buy gifts to your uh, spouse, Mm. to your children. Um, You know, the best gifts, even a a Mercedes, a V8 and all that. Mm. But I want to say this and never forget this. The greatest gift, Mm. the greatest gift Mm -hmm. that you can give to your children Mm. It is to love their mother. Wow. wow. It is the <laughs> highest gift yeah. in wow. this world. Not to love them, to love their mother. Oh wow. my goodness. 
and to love their dad too. <laughs> <laughs> it is the yeah. number one like, gift. Wow. He loves me. I always have much also to pour to them. Wonderful. You know, when I love her, she mm. will love the children so easily. Wow. <laughs> she'll take care of my baby so easily. Yes. You know, she'll take care of me. Yes. You know, when, when children learn knowing that their mother is loved mm. and that the, 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 the father and the, and the mother, mm. they're not just a husband and wife, mm. but they have gone to the next level mm. of friendship. Wow. Because mm. you can live as a husband and wife, mm. which is a lower level. Mm. You graduate to becoming friends. Friends. Friends don't hide one another. Mm -hmm. They are P numbers. Mm. Friends don't have side chicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Friends will not hurt one another. Oh, mm. yes. Friends. They look for the best for each other. Yeah. Mm. That's about the friends. Mm. When the children grow knowing that we know that dad loves mom. How wow. watoto watasoma. How watoto watakuwa champions. Wow. They'll be the best children. I mean, they have got nothing to disturb them. Mm. Like yeah. I, I ask my children, can you give me any reason why you can't work hard in school? <laughs> Is it me? Is it your mom? <laughs> uh, why? Why can't you work hard? They have no reason. They have no they reason. So, they feel so guilty because mm, the exactly, environment is conducive. Exactly. You, you, you are making me now, something wow. that just come in my head that whenever there is chaos in any marriage, the first person to question is the husband. Uh -huh. No matter what I told my wife, my, the first person to question is the husband. Mm -hmm. And as you've spoken, I think in Genesis 37, mm -hmm. whereby uh, th this young man dreams and says that uh, mm -hmm. you are bowing before me, the sun, the moon, and the star. Yeah. And actually from that verse you can easily say that uh, mm -hmm. the sun mm -hmm. represents the father, mm -hmm. the moon represents the the mother yes. and the stars are the children. Yes. Mm. Therefore, this mother cannot shine mm. if the sun has not shone mm -hmm. on wow. him. Mm -hmm. wow. There is no way this mother can mm. become productive mm. if the father has shut up. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's not providing the light. Mm. Whenever you see an organization that is failing, mm. they don't come and question workers. They mm. go to the CEO. Man, CEO. Mm. What went wrong? Yes. At my staff, no, no, no. Don't do your staff. What went wrong? Mm. They always question you. So, what was that? You know, my marriage failed because my wife was. But first of all, mm. we first come to you as the head of the family, mm. yes. as division bearer. Mm. Where did you go wrong? Mm. So, when you talk about infidelity, I manage Lazma that I'm going to sleep with that person. Maybe I have my group of boys. Yes. That before you, before I go to you, these boys were there. They've been there. They're yeah. my buddies. <laughs> when you go to Russia, they support me, and I can't leave them because mm. of my one. Also, you have your group girls that you go out together. Mm. Mkona kacha mama na changina nga nene. Mnendanga out over weekends. Na nikitu mlianza kitambo. So nimekuja, mm. I can't stop. So what do you think about that? Mm. Okay. Uh, once you are married, mm. the number one priority should be your spouse. Mm. And I believe that anything that, that takes you away from your spouse, mm -hmm. anything, yes. job, money, time, anything that is taking that spouse time, mm -hmm. is actually should should be dealt away with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once you are married, you are a single lady like me. Mm -hmm. You had groups of group of girls, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. It's not bad having friends. Mm -hmm. It is not bad. But there must be a transition now. You are a married person. You wow. cannot maintain the same personality. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to shed off some friends, some mm -hmm. habits. There oh, was yes. that bachelor time, mm -hmm. bachelor lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And now you are a person with a family entrusted with a bigger responsibility mm -hmm. than how you were mm -hmm. before. So me. Uh, from what I know, mm. anything that would take my time from you mm. as my husband, mm -hmm. I wouldn't consider it. And also the Bible wow. tells us that a house divided against itself cannot stand. Not stand. So the mm. moment I give my girls a lot of moment, a lot of time, mm. air time, emotional time, I'll have that, I'll create that drift. Huh? A rift mm -hmm. of division or whatever yeah, you can call it. Very true. And that house will be very shaky. Mm. Wow, yeah. that's very true. That's very powerful. Mm. So now I think uh, we are coming to the end of this show, but before you close it up, I would like to hear final words mm -hmm. from each one of us. Uh, I'll begin with our wise people because I may start speaking, then I speak Matope. <laughs> so I wish to hear from them. And then <laughs> Ali Bor, what I have said, <laughs> talked about financial, emotional, secrets, mm -hmm. side chicks, whatever. What are your final words? Mm -hmm. We maybe start with yeah, with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, when they come to infidelity uh, and whatever you call it, mm -hmm. 
there is only one solution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, run away. Flee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fly if you can. Yes. You know? Uh, From what? Sexual, sexual. immorality. Uh, you don't... Like Joseph. Mm -hmm. Like Joseph did. Mm -hmm. You don't kneel down to pray. Ati mm mungu kama utaki tufanyane, tuma maraika. May you someone come and bang in this house to interrupt the program. Hakuna, hakuna, hakuna mutu atatumwa. Mutafanyana. Na mutaenda jehanamu. Na tumewambia leo. Free away from sexual immorality. In the name of the leg. For the word of God. In the name of the leg. In the other sin that a man does is outside his body. But this one, you are doing it to yourself. Your own body. You are sinning your own body. Yes. And so my closest remarks is Toroka. Kimbia. Potea. Yes. Wow. That's powerful. <laughs> yeah, for me, I would say that uh, for cheating, adultery, fornication, it's just you make a decision. Allow your belief system to lead you. You know very well. There is no couple that had infidelity cheating mm. that ended up having the happiest marriage ever. In fact, it leaves people heart wounded in a lot of regrets and a lot of pain and it also hurts your children. Mm. I would say this, kindly be satisfied by your husband mm. and be contented by your wife. Mm. This idea of trying to think that another woman is better, another man is better, it is not the truth. We mm. can even look from the past. Mm. The people who have done and gone that, that road, mm. they have actually ended up in regrets. I want to say this, that infidelity is a temptation that can find anybody who is in marriage, mm. but you have a choice to either do it or not do it. Mm -hmm. And so it is just a matter of making a decision that I will never commit adultery, mm. I will never fornicate, I will never have another relation, sexual relationship mm. with any other person apart from my partner. And when you make that decision, heaven gives you the power. God gives you the power and the grace to remain faithful unto the end. So I want to say this, it is possible to stay with one wife and one husband all the days of your life. Can I wow. finish by saying this? Wow, wow. The wow. dignity mm. of every husband and wife. Mm. It is the ability to stay with one husband mm. and one wife all the days of your life mm. and run away from sexual immorality. Mm. That is the highest dignity. Mm. The capacity to stay with only one husband and only one wife, even according to God's word, mm. and run away from sexual immorality. So uh, there is no temptation that will come to you that has not found other people. Mm. But God will give you a way of escape, and you also need to make sure when God is giving you a way of escape, you don't return yourself back again to infidelity. Mm. Compromise destroys boldness. So stay strong, stay together, get satisfied with your vagina and your penis, mm. and. Uh, when God sees that, He will continue to bless you because you are obeying His word. Amen. Thank you very much. Wow, Tosheka. Is it Tosheka? Tosheka. Yeah. Tosheka. <laughs> Tosheka. Yeah. Wow. Hmm? Your final sentiments? Yes. What you've learned or what you think you can add? I can't even add anything. Mm. I just, I'm just saying my heart is full. Mm. Wow. I've learned a lot, ma'am. Wonderful. But one thing I'm taking home is that whatever you do, it affects your children. Mm. And you, you, there is a possibility of breaking generational mm -hmm. patterns wow. if you submit yourself to God and yes. you are committed to do it. Mm. And also, I've learned from mom mm. that it is possible to be grounded and be in Christ mm. and still be famous and successful. Mm. Wonderful. May God bless you. May God bless your families. Amen. 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 Wow. wow. I've also learned so many lessons from this wonderful people. Yes. And uh, I just want to say that thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much for the lessons I've learned. I've learned that number one, that openness is so key mm. oh, yes. for us. Oh, Once yes. we are open, it's mm. even very hard for them to get away a, a into our marriage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And also, you say that uh, if there is any intruder coming, I should yes. inform her very fast. Mm. Very fast. I remember the times where we were having guys who were still following, when, when we began, yes. the poor ladies were still following me, the men were still following her mm. before outside our relationship then. Whenever the guy will call, 
hakuko tuna mtu sema tunagombana mm. anaambia tutakutana anaambia tu niaje bro ulikuta ongea na Beril oh amelala so piga kesho <laughs> sawa so, tena kesho anapiga at oh pole anaoga so piga baadaye so whenever this guy wants to call and sema huyo jamaa atashika simu he lives same to her whenever <laughs> eh, whenever a lady was calling ambia hey, niaje mtu ongea na salano amelala ni kama cho unaweza mpiga kesho subi please when she calls again Three times. Ada sama kan Nicole kuna demo na shikanga spigi tena. So that's how you deal with them without being wow. wow. Without being sio mna. Muchinga, wacha na mzee wangu. Unajua we are married. Leave it, leave it. I'll find you, I'll find you. You have a way of Yeah. You, you, you have dealt with them in a very soft way yes. and you left them to go. And then this issue of having passwords, juu pins, vitu mefiche ficha kuna loans unalipa mali na mtu ajui. Sijui kuna uko na ATM stuff zingine zijulikani unakufa unaacha pesa kwa bank because unasema uta, uta, uta disclose all my pins but then ukufa kwa accident before you disclose them so mm. it's good to be very open now relationships yeah. to have very healthy marriages yes. so thank you so much for this for being with us up to this time i know you have enjoyed and this is naked, naked and, and not, not ashamed show. show until next time god bless you